Night DJ. We are now uh, at a bus stop. We're gonna, we've walked sort of back further up the road to catch a bus that will take us further kind of over there. And then we're gonna start walking up the mountain to get to the base camp of uh, Paikestur. And uh, from there, it'll be a roughly two hour trip up and um, another two hours back down again, obviously. But this morning we had a bit of a mishap because the uh, internet wasn't working due to the power being out and we have no idea how or why it went out at night. And we've been told nothing about how to turn it back on. So we are kind of screwed because of that, or we were this morning getting ready. Um, but we're gonna make the most of it and see if we can still manage things. Right now we are taking a break. Um, we are, we're already very tired, even though we've just walked from the bus stop <laughs> uh, up this uh, slope here. We've passed the camping site that's here. Uh, and we have quite a bit more to go. There's a really nice we've, uh, we've cabin past over the uh, golfing bit, so. Yeah, we've, we've gone past the golfing course and, the, and like a lower camp. So the base camp is gonna be further up. We've just seen a bunch of people like drive past in taxis and stuff, which is a, a little demoralizing. But last night we had to take a taxi and we drove for six minutes and it cost us like- 34 pounds. Yeah, 34 pounds or something. Uh, pretty ridiculous, but hey, we are uh, gonna energize and eat some breakfast now and then Hopefully, we'll have the energy to continue. Wait, you want us to have breakfast now? Well, no. Are we not having breakfast? Do you want us to have the porridge now? Just a little bit, like I don't know, or some chocolate or something. Just so, so we have. Okay, some, some porridge. Where, where is the porridge? And we have food? blueberries too. The good thing about Norway is that the blueberries. Well, that one good thing I guess, like, is blueberries are very cheap. Um, oh, we didn't think this through. It's not coming up. Oh dear. Yeah, we didn't think this through. The idea was that the porridge was going to be like a bit more liquidy and that it would just... Well, it's just swollen in there. Yeah. <laughs> we may have just lost our hmm. breakfast, lunch and dinner. No? Is it coming out? Just a tiny bit. One is more okay. watery. This one might be the first one I did. I was a bit too thick. Okay, good. I mean, just... So, we're now slightly further along. The weather has... Uh, turned into uh, rain, so we've put on our ponchos. You can see Alex wearing his. <laughs> Alex, give us a spin. Uh, yeah, not the best weather, but we are hoping that by the time we get to the top, the um, rain will clear. It's actually, it was getting too I hot. We get to the top, there'll be a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> New development. Base camp is down there. We are now cutting across the base camp and saving ourselves a lot of walking by just avoiding it altogether and walking through the forest uh, on a trail that actually connects straight up with the uh, path. Imagine being up in the mountain on a hike and you just see someone like giving out. Banana DJ. There we go. Oh, that's a messy bottle. <laughs> I oh, met a messy bottle. <laughs> oh yeah, a messy bottle. That's of course. <laughs> what were you thinking? Uh, there's a beautiful lake slash pond. It's either a big pond or a small lake. Not sure. We are probably halfway, I'm not sure. This is such a beautiful picture of you. Have you seen this thing? 
Mm, it's okay. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> no, it's nice. I like it. Let's see. Possibly. It looks like it. I thought it was a bit more alty than that, but. This is where all the tourists are. I'll definitely be photoshopping every one of them out <laughs> before I post anything to Instagram. Oh. Just look at it. We are now setting up camp underneath this beautiful, whatever the rock word is for this, um, but yeah, so we've got natural cover from the light rain, which is from happening, protection from the elements, I'm sure we could set up a little fire under here, <laughs> yeah, not tonight, Oh. <laughs> it started to rain now, but uh, I wanted to show you guys what we're seeing and just how spectacular this whole place is. And Alex is here chilling with his belly full. And. <laughs> oh my god. Just marking my territory. <laughs> with my sense. As much as there's wind, rain, and all the elements here, <laughs> you're. <laughs> Alex just. Uh, Alex just. Uh, Introduced the fifth element to this uh, <laughs> mountaintop. <laughs> but just, ah, oh, it's so amazing. And someone is actually, there's one camping settlement just down here, or like one, uh, I think it's a couple of people with a husky. Oh, yeah, there's the dog. It's so cute. Um, they're camping down there. But if you do come up to Prakestolen, I would highly recommend. Uh, you climb a tiny bit further because Prakistolen is like just down there and if you go up the side here and a little further it's a very nice nook. I think it's quite interesting how many people or people over there you know age of 50? yeah like 50 plus I, I think it's really interesting how many of those or people in that demographic that are walking up here just today even um, because it's like I know a lot of young people obviously have to do work and all that stuff in school but it's it's like they're living their life at that age because they finally have time or whatever yes it's more about finally having time and having yeah, sim not, yeah, breaking yeah. down life to the simple things in life yeah there is that but also I think it's quite easy to neglect the uh, opportunities that you have when you're young or like being able to appreciate nature for example um, I think people should do it when they're younger like we're trying to do now and studying. do you know what yeah most rich, uh, most young people when they go on holiday they want to go to a, a visa or somewhere else to go party get drunk or go to a five star hotel and feel like they are five star celebrities and yeah, epic views where there is a hanging swimming pool and all those things 
But that is man-made though. This is not man-made. This is natural beauty that they've managed to preserve in a very beautiful way. Very tasty. I don't know if any of you guys have eaten them, but they've got a nice, kind of bitter taste. I'm poisonous? Yes. Uh, no, I've, I've eaten them since <laughs> I was a child. I might explain a few things, but they're really nice. They've got like a really bitter taste, but they're very good in salads. If you like, you know of the leaves and everything like that and uh, yeah they're nice thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week